guys thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this style this is a jumbo box braid I have been waiting so long to do this style I saw a style like this on Instagram I'm gonna post the link down below and I was just so excited to try out this style to see how it would fit my face and everything and I finally got around to getting the braids and getting everything that I needed and I actually have time to do it now so I have completed this style if you'd like to see how I cut my braids how I prepared them um, how I braided the hair and the accessories and everything then just stick around so the braiding hair that I'm using is 82 inches and that is way too long for the bob so I'm going to be sectioning it into three and I'm going to be cutting it into three equal parts and using it for my braids. So I section my hair first and then I braid. I section per row and braid that row and then I would section another row again. So as I'm braiding down, you will see that I'm checking to make sure that all the braids are the same length and I'm using the previous braids to check the length that it's supposed to be and when it gets to that length, I'm going to put the rubber back. So with this section of hair, my natural hair is too thick and so as you can see I am splitting it into two sections and adding it to the braiding hair and then I am starting to braid. In the first three sections that I did, the hair was not as thick as this section of hair and so I only added it to one part of the braid. But this section is too thick and so I need to add it, split it in two and then add it. As you can see, if you can see now, I am trying to conceal my natural hair by putting the braid over my natural hair. So this is called the tucking method so that your braid comes out very neat and you don't see your natural hair. So right now I'm showing you guys how I cut the hair and I'm just cutting about an inch away from where I put the rubber band and because I did not feather the hair I didn't think that I needed to but uh, apparently I did because I did not feather the hair the ends of the braid came out a little thick so I just add an extra rubber band along the length of where I cut and so the ends of the hair would come out a little thinner but if you're doing this, you can feather your hair first so that it won't you won't have this problem.
so this is what the braids look like without the gold beads I use each third remember that we cut the 82 inch hair into three parts I use each third to make four braids and I use two packets in total so right now I'm gonna be using the gold dread cuffs to accessorize the hair and you put the dread cuff on the rubber band to conceal the rubber band you could also put it along the length of the braid and I'm just gonna be doing this on a few braids you don't have to do it on all well it's it's up to you if you have enough dread cuffs to put on all the braids and you like that then you could do that but I did it So guys, this is the finished product. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything that I did not cover in this video, be sure to comment down below and I will answer your comments. If you do try out this style, be sure to tag me on Instagram. My information is down in the description box below. And before you leave, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do. And thank you so much once again for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.